Now we can look at different stress strain graphs for different materials. So first of all, let's look at a crunchy. Now the crunchy is quite a strong material and if I, uh, what we can do is we can do some kind of stress test where we maybe apply a load and what we find is that it doesn't break and therefore this material could be seen to be quite strong but yet it has uh, certain properties, it might be quite brittle and although you can apply a stress to it, it doesn't strain much before it fractures and what we find is it just has this clean break. So this is maybe a material which if we looked at the stress strain graph would look like this. And what we find is that there's not much uh, movement before it breaks and it has a very high ultimate tensile strength which is uh, this kind of value up here but yet it doesn't move much before it fractures. So this one here might be our crunchy. Next up we have a Mars bar. So the Mars bar might not be as strong as a crunchy but what we find is if we apply a load to it, I'm just going to apply a force in the middle is that it doesn't just fracture, what it tends to do is it tends to have this kind of region here where it's not uh, quite elastic anymore, it doesn't go back to the original shape. We have a region of plastic deformation and as I move it, it's going to take a while before it actually breaks. And if we were to draw uh, maybe the graph of a Mars bar, it might look a bit like this. So maybe this is our stress strain graph for a Mars bar. Finally, here we have uh, a WAM bar and if we look at this, what we might see with a WAM bar is that even though I apply quite a small force, we get quite a long extension. And this kind of keeps extending and extending for a long way until it actually breaks. Uh, and again, if I draw this on the graph, we might get something that looks like this. So this is going to be my WAM. But what's this got to do with the behavior of real things like metal? Well, if we look at uh, some materials, we find that they are brittle. So that's what we can maybe think of as our crunchy. It doesn't just bend, it kind of snaps. Now most materials, that, like most metal that we see in everyday life, are a bit more like a Mars bar. So things like aluminium, steel, copper. And what we have is a ductile metal. Copper is a great example. The reason that we can make copper wire is if you get a long bit of copper and you pull it, it stretches out into this long shape here. It doesn't just snap immediately. So you can see that it moves, it flexes, and it goes back to the original shape. So this is maybe something like uh, our copper wire. When it comes to looking at things like the WAM bar, well, it's something which is, uh, has a very kind of great, a really massive strain. And this is where we have things like polymers, so things like plastics or some kinds of plastics. Uh, and this is what we call polymeric. So there we go.